So this is a Chinese copy of the Honda CG engine. I think it's called a uh, 156 FMI or something like that. But I've got it to top center center. I've only got a pen. I've used a pen down the spark plug hole. It's at top dead center now. So I was going to whip this rock, rock cover off and have a look. Don't know what that screw's there for, that bolt's there for, but... This is an overhead valve engine. I don't work on these very often, but we've got this for free, so I thought I'd strip it down and do some videos on it. Oh, looks like an oil... So, oil must go up through there, along here, and drop down onto the rockers. So, it's been drilled in the casting sort of thing. Right, uh, so that's the rockers exposed. Not sure if you can see them alright, but... So it's a top center, top dead center, and it's on the rock. So you can check your valve clearances now. But we're just going to carry on and flip it down. And get the next size. Try and keep them in order, know where you put them, getting them from. <laughs> Bit easier to work on than an overhead cam one, but... So that should just pull free now. Huh? Yep. There's your rockers. See rocker adjustments there. So undo that dot and turn it down. Looking good good condition. Right, there's your push rods. You can just feel them come out of the followers. So there's your followers there lot. Like. There's a cam there and two followers that lift these push rods so I always make sure that I know which one's which so I put them back in the right order top and bottom right I think that's the same size nut yep so I've got four head bolts I'm going to do this one first oh, that was loose I'm going to do this direct opposite so Oh, it's a bit that tight anyway. This one, this corner one's got a washer on it. So, make sure you put that back in the right place. There's your push rod locator or guide, whatever. Right, the head should just pull off now. Yeah, well, it's a pretty well built engine, to be honest, for the Chinese. Head looks good, there's a bit of damage there, look. Don't know why that's happened. Could have been a somewhat drop into the combustion chamber. Probably a spark plug or something. Damage to the piston as well. But anyway, pretty easy to disassemble. Oh, there's three dowels on there. I don't know why they're in the fourth, but 
Must be a reason. I put it back together now. Make sure it seats properly. Do your nuts up, remember that one's got a washer on. Quite easy to work on they are. wrench and this ain't going back on so I forgot to put that in Decided to play up. Right, so I've got the exhaust side push rod here. You've got to feed it down. If you drop these down, it will go down into the engine and you'll never get it back. Well, you have to strip it all out. Oh, right, that's in. You can just feel them slot into place. You can put a bit of grease on as well, that helps. And put the rocker assembly back on. A little bit of an awkward job, but... Make sure you put all the washes and that back on. Before tightening it down, make sure that it's all set up right. So you talk them down properly. I think that's it. Oh no, one more bolt. Okay, that's it. Pretty easy to work on now, man. Eh? 